scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. So no matter how many times Satan sends those seeds through dreams, through visions, through circumstances around you, you are motivated by the reality of scripture that while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen the bible says they are temporal a ghastly motor accident i don't doubt your vision but that is a seed looking for fertilization you can receive it through fear you can receive it through doubt or you can stand based on the word of god which is another seed incorruptible and superimpose this lies the bible says let god be true see a lie is not what is wrong or false a lie is whatever god did not say understand this a lie is not an incorrect information a lie is whatever did not proceed from the lips of the master so even if it is correct and god did not say it it is a lie Mm. so when you look at your situation now and God did not say it what do you call it so adjust your idea our word of the truth Jesus said I am the way I am the truth the truth I am life deliverance through transformation let me give us the last one and then we allow the third level of deliverance that makes it complete is called the discipline of conformity. Romans chapter 8 from verse 13. The discipline of conformity. There is a dimension of deliverance that does not depend on God alone. No. Man has. If we live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, who does the mortifying? God only supplies the grace. But the active is called the discipline of conformity. There are many believers that leave everything up to God and just believe that things will happen just by itself. No. There is the discipline of conformity. Look up, please. Ask any man who prays. They will be lying to tell you prayer is convenient every time. There are times you have to wake yourself in tongues. And say, in the name of Jesus, leg obey me. God gave me authority over you. You are going to stand up and pray. There is no man who studies the Bible and just keeps smiling all the time. It takes discipline to do certain things things in this kingdom the discipline of conformity no matter how anointed you are if it's not an oppression over your life and you stand on this road you will die now 
That means you can choose to leave the earth in the next five minutes. And God will respect your will. You stand on this road, the devil will program someone who is thinking like you too. And two of you will kill yourselves immediately. That means it is within your power to walk with the provisions of grace afforded you. To ensure that you walk within the boundaries, the provisions that are meant for the believers to make for victory. It's God helping us. If we are together, say amen. amen. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8. Galatians 6 and verse 8. For he that soweth, now he's talking about farming. Look up, please. He that soweth to his flesh, so the flesh is a soil, and the spirit is a soil. He that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. Let me tell you what that means. That as a Christian, when you don't pay attention to your spiritual life, that laxity is an invitation that demons come back again to my destiny. No matter what kind of covering you are in, if you allow this carelessness that you do not do anything about your life. Oh, pray for me as you are going to church. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Pastor just wrote a book. A series was just finished. Buy the truth and sell it not. Uh -uh. You can buy clothes. You can buy designers. Respectfully speaking, I don't mean to be sarcastic. And you don't invest. You are so into the flesh. The Bible assures you that you will, of a truth, you will reap corruption. It is not all up to a pastor or a man of God to deliver you. There is a role that you have. You cannot watch all kinds of things on TV, on social media, and pollute your mind from morning till night, and expect that the fire remains, and expect that, that demons go away. Do you know that there is an information you listen to for five, five minutes? It will take you almost six months to get it out of your mind. I will destroy people. There are people every two, two minutes, even when they are driving, they are doing something. It's terrible. You must have the discipline to conquer that addiction if you want to go far in life. Your phone cannot have authority over you. Don't let this become a demon. Don't let a demon enter your phone. Phone, thank you, but that you were created to be an advantage to my life. I should not be a slave to you. You don't know where your Bible is for two weeks. But if your phone gets missing for five minutes, if your recharge card becomes 200 naira, it, it looks like you are sick. You move around till you borrow money and, and put in recharge card. Where, where the book fell, I can't remember. I don't know where I kept the CD. Just when you was about to say something that will liberate me. Sincerely, I pray for my generation that God will give us an appetite for spiritual things genuinely. That would not see God as a necessary luggage we are carrying in our voyage through destiny. And you know, right now, when you talk about being spiritual and being serious, it is not trendy. It looks like you are, you are a nuisance to civilization. But the time will come when everyone will reap the harvest of the seed he has sown. The Bible says, let God be true and all men liars. I do not not know one man who has been a genuine passionate lover of God sincere not that you are using God to get, get things a lover of God committed to the truth of scripture walking in truth and you remain down walking in truth and you remain down no sir relationships.
there are many many people who love God sincerely so but there are very, very destructive associations apostle I don't drink but, but all my friends drink but they know that I'm, I'm the preacher God kept me there to win them listen let me tell you don't fool yourself that's not how God changes people God takes Moses out of Egypt first and works on him before sending him back to Egypt the training does not happen while you are in Egypt are we together yes there are times that because God is insisting on lifting people he can relocate you literally from your family for many years because even though he loves your family members they do not hold a position that can allow the presence of God to build you so he would disguise it either through a job as a student he would disguise it by sending you to a university far NYSE far a job somewhere that system of quarantine is very important that he takes you out of that environment that sponsors evil around your life and keeps you in a place where you flog it out with destiny and when you are made he sends you back listen to me some of us our parents had the opportunity to hear preachers say what i'm saying and they were sitting on chairs just like you are listening and they laughed at the preacher look at your pain today is a result of their laughter and their carelessness now god is giving you an opportunity in this conference today you can choose to say I may have suffered what my parents did not do anything about but I love my children too much to allow them ask me a question tomorrow that I cannot answer and say daddy where were you I had an old tape and I had you were in that service why did you not say amen when they were praying why did you not open your heart to submit your prayer request it's called the comeback God is about to lift families please rise up on your feet my deliverer, my deliverer, he is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer, he is standing by. Listen, the riches of the kingdom are for those who are part of the kingdom. So, administration. You are here listening, following online from whatever nation of the world, or you are in here and you know sincerely in the name of honesty that you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. Or you are here and you are saying, Apostle, I love Jesus with all my heart, but for some reason my life has just gone haywire and I don't want to deceive myself. Wherever you are, in the next one minute, I'd like you to leave your seat and come and stand here quickly. I want to lead you to Jesus. Win that war of destiny right now. Think of your children while you make this decision. If there's anybody like that, quickly, please. Don't wait for the first person. Be the first. Win that war and come and stand here. Let's celebrate them as they come. Celebrate them as they come. What a life. Is this the best you can do? Don't sit back there and say one day go better. When the Titanic sank, there were only two lists. Those who were lost and those who were saved. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Please look at me. I want to salute all of you young and old alike for making this bold decision. When we come to receive the life of God, it's not like a funeral service. This is, this is, keep coming. God bless you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Listen, it is selfish to sit back back and not make it right when you know your children will suffer your children's children will suffer it's an opportunity that God is giving the Bible says when he the spirit of truth is come he says that he will convict the world of three things of righteousness of sin and of judgment 
Lift your right hand, all of you who are here, high to the heavens. You who are here, high to the heavens. All my heart, and I believe that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I receive Jesus as my Lord, my Savior, the power of, of sin, of Satan, and of the flesh is broken from off my life. From today, I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, and I declare that I reign in life. Keep your hands lifted. Father, we present to you the ones Jesus died for. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that the power of sin, the grave, the flesh, hell, is broken over their lives forever. We commend you to the ministry of the word and of the spirit. And we declare that you become built, you become established. The power of Satan is broken from off your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Okay, now this is what you would do. Please, all of you in concert, as we clap for you, you just get into that room. There will be officials that will follow you just for a few minutes and you'll come back and join us as we pray. Let's celebrate them quickly as they do so. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? That this will become a moment of destiny. That many of you writing the history of your life and say, I remember it was at Water Life Center, December 2020, that that siege was broken. Please, when it's time to pray, I'd like you to pray. I know that we've spent a little time, but please just walk with me. God wants to visit our destinies. TV Israel Oh come oh come me man and run some cop TV Israel Rejoice rejoice Emmanuel has come to you God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above all names. He said that at the mention of that name, that everything in the earth, in heaven and under the earth, will bow and declare that Jesus is Lord. As you shout that name, every altar, every ordinance, we are coming with the rock 
out of a higher priesthood. Please, I'd like you to bring them out here. Will, please, I'd like you to bring them out here. There will be a Convention. Lord, the destinies that have been tied down, the families that have been tied down, as you shout Jesus at the count of three, let there be deliverance. Are you ready now? At the count of three, fire upon altars and Jakarta shekete baza, kabariata. In the name of Jesus. Bring them out. I command yokes of darkness. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Shake it, 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 now listen to me please bring them out we are praying I'm seeing I'm seeing fire coming on ladies because a woman is a gate in the realm of the spirit I use you as a point of contact every daughter of Zion here that has been oppressed by spirits in dreams at the count of three shout Jesus one two three Fire upon your destiny. That fire. Shake it, take it, take it. Prakatoshan is coming. Embrekete katoso seketa. Ebrendes kabaria shada. Ancestral altars. Yokes of darkness. Edge long spirits. Lift up your heads. All ye gates be lifted up. Now listen to me, listen to me, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing families that delay has sat upon them. The only thing growing is your age. Nothing else is increasing. At the count of three, fire is falling on those families. Father, I pray that any family here that has been eaten over by the siege of delay, I declare right now, in the name of Jesus, as you shout again, the healer, that shout of praise, in the name of Jesus, may that fire rest upon you. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I cost delay. I cost delay. I, I cost delay. The spirits of delay leave these families. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, I don't know where they are, but I declare by the Spirit of grace, some 
of you are up the balcony. Father, these 11 people, right now, Father, these 11 people, right now, Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Hallelujah. Now everyone say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come by the blood and I declare that on account of the sacrifice of Jesus, Every legal access that the devil has over my life, my family, my destiny, my finances, let the blood speak. Lift your hands and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak against ordinances. Let the blood speak. What a life are you praying? Online are you praying? Jesus, every human agent in partnership with altars, in partnership with spirits, again declare judgment. Now, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Jesus. Are you 
tired. Say in the name of Jesus. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare. My portion in this land. In this nation. Within my territory. Come to me. Lift your voice and pray. My portion. God is a God of portions. My portion. Through wisdom come to me. Through value come to me. Through relationships come to me. Through favor come to me. Through innovation come to me. tell you fire is burning in this place listen to me the bible says and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren then the bible tells us the beginning of the story that the mother cursed him because she bore him in sorrow but Jabez came to a point where he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge me my coast is someone ready to pray say father this of my life I am grateful for it but shift me to a higher level shift me in ministry shift me financially shift me spiritually lift your voice and pray higher level higher dimension higher dimension grateful for this level but take me higher Grateful for this level, but lift me higher for the sake of your kingdom, for the sake of your majesty. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The last prayer, and then we'll deal with the request here. Micah chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, I have power by the Spirit. I have power and it is by the Spirit. Psalm 66 verse 3 says, Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. Not through the greatness of your speaking. Is someone ready to pray? One last prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, the anointing, the unction, the grace to rise from this pit and to remain in victory, let it come upon me from heaven. Lift your voice and pray. The unction for the next level. The grace from the Spirit. I want to truly honor your pastor and your father for allowing this. I have a covenant with God of answered prayers. Hallelujah. Yes, I do. I do. Listen to me. Let me pray for those in front here. All of you that have come to the front, every spirit that holds your life, you know my voice. I send it as an instruction in the realm of the spirit. At the count of three, let them go now. One, two, three, out of them now. Go, 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 go. Out of their lives. Out of their destinies. Everything you have stolen in the name of Jesus, be gone forever. In the name of Jesus, we 
cause you altars of darkness be gone forever in the name of Jesus. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. So let it rain. Let it rain. Will you open? Hallelujah. The Bible says, Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Please listen. I'm standing in faith and I'm standing in partnership with the grace upon your father. If you are yet to drop yours, please just bring it here. This is a representation of your pain. This is a representation of your sleepless night. This is a representation of that which you do not want to see. Exodus 14, 14. Please give it to us. Shalada Salish. The Lord himself, the Bible says, shall fight for you. And all that will remain with you is your peace. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Please stretch your hands towards me. I'd like you to agree with me and pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit everywhere. As I lay my hands upon these requests. your request prophetically the same way I'm standing upon it everything that is on you as a Lord I bring it under your feet now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God in the name of Jesus the son of the living God it says behold I give you authority to tread upon snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy Believers, hear me. These Egyptians that you have dropped today, in the name of Jesus, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. Listen, Job said, he will deliver you from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. Any pronouncement over anyone's destiny, whether it was warranted or unwarranted, my Bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I declare by the blood, be free from every cause. Be free from every pronouncement. In the name of Jesus. In Genesis 32, the Bible says when Jacob was alone, a man came to him and he wrestled. And he said, leave me for the day break it. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said, what is your name? He said, Jacob. He said, thou shalt no longer be called Jacob but Israel. For as a prince you have had power with God and prevailed. 
and he touched the whole of his thigh and blessed him. And then my Bible says the song arose and they called the name of that place Peniel, the face of God. Whatever has made night time in your life and has stopped light from rising in the name of Jesus I declare, let your night be turned into day now. Hear me. Whatever has refused to walk in your life, it's a master we have toiled all night. Please believe these are not just mere words. They are words with a throne that backs them. Master, we have toiled all night. It said, nevertheless, at your word, what you did and failed, January, February, March, where you failed, we empower you. Go back and excel. Go back. Help them, please, my God. Go back and excel. Hear me. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Whatever needs to die for you to see, I declare right now, may the earth open and swallow it. And David said, is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Hallelujah. Yes. And they sent him to Lodabar. And he went and brought a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Ziba had 15 sons. And yet none of the sons was favored. And he brought Mephibosheth and said, you will eat with me here. And the sons of Ziba were the ones who would tore his land. I pray for you. Every destiny helper allocated by grace to you in this season, from the north to the south, the east and the west, by the power of prophecy, I call them into your life. Financial helpers, ministerial helpers, destiny helpers, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. Anyone called barren in this place, whether for you or for your loved ones, you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, like Eli, I stand in priesthood with your pastor and we declare according to the time of life, return with your miracle testimony. Anyone trusting God for a job in this city or around this nation, I don't care how long you have waited, I stretch my hands to you and I declare by the spirit of grace, three months, like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom, we speak to you the words of grace in the name of Jesus, the allocation that is your portion, let it come to you. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. And Jesus grew and Jesus increased. Whatever has refused to grow in your life, everything that is alive grows. So your influence should grow. Your knowledge should grow. Your prayer life should grow. Your relationship should grow. Everything stagnating your growth. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse it out of your life now. Hallelujah. Every family here that has the testimony of Ichabod, that you were once in glory, you once tasted honor. Mariko Sazia has kabaranda shalakata, grateska bedekato shalenda brakatoska, ega kepa katosho tokoto, upon those hands that are stretched towards me. Nothing dies in that hand. Can I pray 
for your spiritual life. I don't know what has happened to your fire. Shamaka so sekete balakata. Prayer fire. What? Study fire. I pray for you right now. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. of you before you get home you will find the things that you are your expectations here waiting for you and I say by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen I fear God and I love God with all my heart but I know by the spirit that this session will not profit you until you are challenged to drop a seed that represents a sacrifice listen i'm a man of integrity and i fear god your pastor is a man of integrity it is difficult to teach these things to the saints because it has been abused but i stand by the spirit as i'm standing here i know by the spirit of god that if we just round up this session and you go my conscience will not allow me because I understand spiritual things. When the angel came to Cornelius, he said, your prayer and your arms, not your prayer alone, your prayer and your arms. Listen to me. Please listen, listen, listen. I will never by the grace of God and as he supplies grace, manipulate anybody under the sun in the guise of ministry towards giving and I will never tell you to do something that I will not do myself as I'm speaking to you now I'm going to reach down to my own pocket to and give now I don't know whether it's a special giving whether it's with the offering combined whatever it is but I want you to agree with God and say father I want to use this seed to seal this deliverance I know that some of you may have suffered abuses from respectfully men of God and from ministries and because they've twisted some of these things every time we talk about sowing you think it is some gimmicks by the grace of God God has shown us mercy and he has shown us grace so every 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 declaration that you should give is not for personal profiting no it is to the end that this becomes a seal are we together I don't know whether it is a check you are going to write. I don't know whether it is a seed you are going to give. But I want you to stand wherever you are. And agree with God on a seed that you are going to bring a, a sacrifice. I want to pray. Don't just come and drop it. It's not about money. It's about the word that is on it. You drop seed, you just did donation and went back. What gives life to it is the anointing that rests upon it. If it's the church account that you need... I'm, I don't know if I'm okay. I'm seeing an account. Those following online from whatever nation, you can call the finance lines or call those available. And I want you to believe. Some of you are trusting God for increase sorts in your life. I still have one more session tomorrow by the grace of God. And as we celebrate the Lord, I'm going to show you one more mystery. If God grants you the grace and it is within your power, make every sacrifice to be here. I respect men of God and I respect ministries. But please hear me. If it's a sacrifice that is within your power, please be here tomorrow morning. You notice we've not done any impartation or speaking on you. There is something that is left to balance this conference tomorrow. But for now, Please hold on. Hold on. If you are giving, just, just hold on. I'm not just talking of, of a seed that you come and drop. The Bible says, and Solomon loved the Lord, and that he offered a thousand bond offerings. And that night, God did not send an angel. He came to him himself and said, Solomon, he said, what would you have me give you? And Solomon prayed for an understanding heart. He said, because you have not asked for the life of your enemies, you have not asked for this and that. 
I will give you this that you have asked for and what you have not given riches, wealth and honor such as no man has had I will give to you and he woke up and his life changed I want to pray for you most times we give as if we're helping the man of God most times we give from a ritualistic standpoint and that's why there is no life it's not in the money it's in the understanding are we together now I want you to agree with God whatever it is maybe as a couple you can agree as a family but I want you don't just drop money let it be a seal to say Lord my fathers could not do this my mothers could not do this but here at this conference in this atmosphere of deliverance I'm lifting this seed and that as I drop it in the name of Jesus let this terminate hardship let it seal that open door and keep it open and let this be for transgenerational continuity of your kindness and faithfulness that the covenant that God had with David that makes for his peace and his mercy let it also come upon my life lift your hands or lift your seed whatever you have lift it up and let's pray father you are not a man that you should lie you are not the son of man you do not deceive men. You are a God of integrity. And Lord, I stand in faith and in partnership with Reverend Godwin Abba, his great wife, the leadership of this commission, this ministry. I stand in the presence of your people and Lord, we declare that it is time for us to end certain seasons and to birth others. Some of you have emptied your accounts to do this. Some of you are standing in rugged faith, believing the God that can do the impossible. I stand in the name of Jesus Christ as one who God has shown mercy and grace. And I speak over your seeds. I give it a voice in the realm of the spirit. According to Psalm 50 verse 5, it said, gather unto me my saints, they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And I declare, may your sacrifice turn into an altar in the spirit. Yeah. An altar that remains as a memorial for you. Yeah. That you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. Yeah. For those trusting God for open doors, we turn this seed into a key in the realm of the spirit. Let it open strange doors for you. For those that are trusting God for restoration, I declare in the name of Jesus, let your seed become a magnet that draws back to your life everything that once left you. In the name of Jesus, for those that are trusting God for visitation in your family, let this seed become a weapon of victory that will fight battles even when you sleep. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless your seed and I speak that it is blessed. Let it go into your future and wait for you. I speak to this seed. Go around the city of Abuja. Gather your kind. Return back to the givers a thousandfold. Go around this nation. Gather your kind. Return back to the givers in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless you and the earth will fear him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Please cast your seed with understanding. How do we do it now? Do you come out? Okay, please come out quickly. Just come and drop your seed quickly and turn back with understanding. Let's hurry up so we can wrap up the meeting. Let the ushers direct you so that we don't stampede on each other. Ushers, just get that done quickly. Okay, so please. Get that done quickly. Just do it carefully. You do it carefully. Just go ahead. There are bags in front and there are buckets at the angles. The Lord bless you. It doesn't have to be the one in front. Anyone you can Anyone. see. Exactly. Yes. I'm sure there are ushers on the gallery. Okay, fine. So the other minute for you coming down, there are ushers on the gallery. Your seat is already blessed. And let nobody leave until we've shared the grace. Don't keep quiet as you go back. Let your word speak something over your destiny. 
We just have a few more minutes. Make sure as you drop your seat, don't just go back silent. The Bible says, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Open your mouth and declare. I just dropped my last level financially. I'm rising to a new level. A new level of anointing, a new level of grace, a new level of favor, a new dimension of the hand of God. Can we finish up on time? Please, those coming, just, just come quickly. Come quickly, come quickly, so that... May I kindly ask, Pastor, what, what time tomorrow's service? Eight o'clock. Okay, it's a combined, I'm told it's a combined service. It's a combined service, so I'm sure that that would just be one service. Please invite everyone and come as we we receive the final dose of that which God has in store for us by the Spirit and we trust God that there be a manifestation the angel said blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken of the Lord we believe and we expect a performance in the name of Jesus Christ please rise up on your feet for the final blessing before I hand the mic over to the apostle over this house please help me with the request you can pick them and just go and bond them it is done in the name of Jesus Christ it is done in the name of Jesus Christ please do well do well to share your testimonies I believe that even tomorrow there will be a room some of you are already receiving testimonies and um, I'm sure that by the grace of God there will be um, provision according to the way things are done here please take advantage of it and let us know so that you can also seal that which God had started doing 10 lepers were healed only one came back to testify and express gratitude and he was the only one who was made whole in the name of Jesus you return with the favor of God in the name of Jesus the Christ of God and I pray for you that every seed you have dropped yeah, let it speak for you it will never be that you came and wasted your time in the presence of God your deliverance remains permanent and every door that has refused to open all of them one by one beginning from this morning or this afternoon we declare them all opened in the name of Jesus Christ give Jesus a big hand clap and celebrate him Isn't God gracious? God moves in personalities. Please, let's not um, step out until the grace is shared. You've waited this long. Don't disrespect God so that you don't end up disrespected in life. Anytime God moves into a land, he moves through vessels. And by the mercies of God, in this season, God has passed through this land in vessels. <clears throat> the job with all is that the vessels are visible. Meaning God did not hide anything from us. He spoke to us. He moved in our midst. He touched us. As you live here, let's go start incubating these walls, pondering over them, meditating on them, and declaring them into practical manifestations. If you believe in the power of causes, you should believe more in the power of blessings. Causes flow through words, blessings flow through words. 
Words have been released. Prayers have been made. Your life can never be the same. In the name of Jesus. The tomorrow morning, morning session is by 8 o'clock. It's a combined service by the grace of God. So let's be as early as possible. It's going to be something else. And tomorrow morning is going to be the crowning of everything. The end of a matter is better than the beginning thereof. So get ready for God. The Lord bless us. Two things I want to do. You're sure you're not born again. Okay. Um, the man of God made altar call. Oh, beautiful. The Lord bless you. Today is your first time in World Alive. Your first time, whether on the gallery, outside in the overflow, under the gallery, or within the hall. Just pick your Bible, pick your bag, and just come forward quickly. Today is your first time. After that, we'll get the grace shared. God bless you. Today is your first time. Pick your Bible, pick your bag, just come forward. Don't worry, just come forward. Keep coming, keep coming. Let's keep clapping for them. Don't forget the morning session tomorrow. All right, some of you have not dropped. Come over, please. Come over. Some of you have not dropped your offerings. You can step forward, drop the offering on the altar or in the bag in your front. Outside that, if today's your first time, just walk to the front. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.